Hey there guys, it's Adam from Moya here. And uh, I'm just gonna tell you guys a basic overview of what this tutorial series I'm about to do is. And it's pretty much an introduction into the uh scripting that's done in Unity. Uh and I'm gonna guess that most of you watching this know at least a little bit of programming, or those of you who don't are actually gonna be pretty smart and can pick up on things. And I say that because I'm not going to go over step by step everything the way it's done. Um, I will show you everything I do. I'm going to make sc um, scripts for um, Scratch. But I'm not going to go and say, I just clicked on file, I just clicked new, I just clicked add a component. I'm not going to explain all that. You Visually, you have to see that. And I may not explain every part of a script until the end, too. So you just have to hang with me when I'm writing scripts. Um, I just dropped something. I have not made much of a many tutorials before. I made one or two. I think I've only released uh, one and one tip. Um, but I am planning on writing this whole series, and it's going to be the basics of Java and game development. Um, and I'm not going to really make a game with you like Tornado Twins did. But I will explain to you some cool scripting, uh, different things you can do with scripts, some cool tests you can do and give you some valuable resources where you can get help uh, when I don't have a tutorial or something new. Um, the, I'm going to be teaching in uh, JavaScript, also known as Unity Script, uh, due to there's some syntax differences and stuff like that, but that's we'll get into that later maybe. Um, but I do also have a tutorial up how to convert Java into C Sharp, which is very easy to do. Uh, so if you want to go, if you want to learn C sharp, take a look at that. Um, I do recommend watching this first. You can learn any language first. It's just I'm teaching in Java, so yeah. Uh, and I think that's uh, well. I'm just gonna let you know now. I'm not gonna do much of, if any, uh, scripting in this tutorial. This is an overview. Um, uh, one thing I will go over real quick, depending on which time I have. I've, oh, I've only gone for two minutes. Let's talk about a crash course. Uh, now I'll show you guys some basic overview. I am right now in the uh, in the control panel for one of the games I'm working on with Moya, the game development company I'm in. Um, and it's a baby game, kind of like think uh, Kitten Cannon, both a baby. Uh, so this is just to show you that uh, Unity also features a wide variety of GUI options, graphic user interface, and with this you can not only make games, you can also make applications for uh, websites or for uh, home use. It, for, it'd be more for websites, home use. It doesn't really allow you to mess with files and stuff like C Sharp or uh, anything would, but if you have a basic web program you want to make, Unity is going to help you a lot. Um, so you can see here this is all custom made buttons and the we downloaded a font from dafont.com and I'm able to go here and this is where all the different babies are going to be right now we only have the picture of one but we do have all these babies in here so I can go in here and I can see this I have it bought and set go in here and I can buy this you can see that and this is just showing you the basic like what you can do with GUIs and stuff in uh Unity. Here's a quick glance at the script. I'm not really going to explain anything, like I said in this tutorial, but you can see that. Uh, and this is just a basic um, GUI script I've been working on. It doesn't really do much other than display information. Um, and you can also get into the actual game development. Sorry, I'm eating as I do a tutorial. I'm starving to death. If I go over here and open up um, a new scene, actually, we can go into. Well, let's go into the main menu. Um, or not main menu. Well, I just didn't save. That might have been bad. Um, blank level loader. That's what I'm looking for. So, in here, you can choose a name. Do, do, do more GUI stuff showing you. Uh, mind you, the background is black because on the website we host this on, we have a black page, so it kind of gives you that uh, 
visual idea that it's popping off the screen. Kind of a cool feature. Uh, here's the different levels we offer. And you can see here, I, using Unity's Mythic Shops, we built a full game. Which, there's, there's a lot more we're going to add, ready to cash shop and stuff, but this video is not about the game, it's about the different things you can do in Unity. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a ba it's the basic game we have. Uh, But, um, yeah, with Unity, you can do pretty much anything you want. You just have to figure out a new way to do it. That's what I love about this program. It's a great 3D in gaming engine. It, um, not only can you also make 3D games, you can also make 2D games. I will possibly put a link up. I don't know if I will. I might be too lazy to do it. But there's a game called Pixel Quest, I believe, on Woogly.com, which is made in Unity. Woogly is a website that hosts uh, any Unity game you want to upload. It's Unity only. It's a pretty cool site. Not very popular at all. But there's a game in there called Pixel Quest. It's an entirely 2D game, but it was made in Unity. So Unity also has a wide variety of uses from 3D game design to 2D game design to applications. Um, and everything you do in Unity is not prefab. I mean, there are some prefabs. As in, uh, by the way, a prefab... Is some saved info? Or I don't know how to describe it actually. Well, it doesn't come with anything really. You all the models and stuff you do, you build or buy yourself. Uh, for example, if we go to models, 3D baby, we uh, downloaded the base baby off of uh, Turbo Squid, I do believe, and modeled in our uh, the glasses and stuff and colored everything, and uh, like my friend uh, Gray Walker here, who's a very talented at making models and t pictures and stuff like that made this oh that's how small the baby is um, and so you make uh, everything you do for models you, you make yourself and you import them into the game importing them is literally nothing the only objects that come pre-built are cube, sphere, capsule, cylinder, plane and cloth which is a plain that is, well, like it says, a cloth. Um, but everything else you make, and for those of you who are interested in that stuff, the modeling, I recommend taking a look at uh, Blender. It is the game, it is what we use to design our games. I am not good at it, and I'm definitely not going to make tutorials about it, but I do believe Gray Walker, who made the canon, is going to start a tutorial series for that, and if he does, I will let you guys know. Modeling is a great thing to get into. Um... Without models, you wouldn't see anything in the game. You would just be looking at a bunch of cues running around the scripts. So, there's another thing to think about. Do you want to be a scripter or not? Um, well, let's see. What else should I talk about? Well, you know, I'll tell you guys in about the basics of um, the Unity layout here before I get off. And then in the next video, we can actually start scripting. Woohoo! Alright, so... Right here, I do believe when you start this, your scene is different. Uh, you can drag and drop these tabs to get yours like mine if you want, or do it any way you want. But this is the way I prefer to have my scene set up. So this right here is your scene. It is the it is the game in the editor mode. So you can see everything that's going on in here. You can edit everything. I can go in here and add a cube and drag it out here. Now this is where you edit everything that's in the game now you go to the actual game mode and it will show you what the camera sees so right here I have this camera not that right there it's this one you can see which direction it's facing in the scene mode and I can move this over here and you can see it edited in the game so those are those two tabs uh, just gonna say in the game real quick there's all these different aspects and I will show you guys how later if you want um, but I made it so the web player is set as default I think 600 by 400 I want to say I changed it because uh, this is how big it is on our website but these are different views and they also have the uh, option maximize and play so when I hit play it uh, maximizes that scene um, so that's pretty much it for those two tabs oh, um, over here we have 
the hierarchy, which gives you a list of everything that's in the game. So, whatever you see in your screen is an object. So, there's an invisible object called non-destroyable. It you can see it because I added a component to it. We'll get into that. We might not even get into it at all. But um, this. All right, here's the empty game object right here. You can't see it in the game, but it's there, meaning it can hold scripts and stuff and information and all that stuff so it can do stuff, but you won't be able to see it in game, so it's not an eyesore. Uh, I have a main camera and stuff that you can see. That's what everything you see. And if I add, if I go in here and I add any kind of game object, you can see it in the hierarchy. Now, when I select a game object, let's go for the main camera. These are the components on the object that do things. Um, we're not going to mess around with many components on here. The only component we're going to mess with, obviously, is adding scripts. So you can see here, I have a script attached to this game object called Name Holder. Um, just so I can show you, tell you guys what this is. See, this is the inspector. Uh, it gives you all the information about the object in the game, what it has attached to it, where its location is, what its rotation is. Um, all that good stuff and so you're gonna need to pay a lot of attention to that and then here's the project this is everything that's in your source files um, I will show you actually real quick where the source files is when you make a game it'll ask you where do you want to make it I make all mine in my documents and if you go into baby it gives you and this is the the name of my project they call the baby cannon and it will tell you the three it'll show you three folders in here these two do not touch whenever you um, import something or you want to add something to it like a model you put it inside of here and it will show up on this um, we will uh, get into more about this but this just mind you is everything that it has reference to everything it can use and all that good stuff um, I will show you a couple more things here and I'm gonna get off I am running out of time uh, if you go to game object up in here, you got file, you can make new scenes, save scenes, uh, new projects, all that. Build settings we're going to get into later. Uh, then the next thing is get a, uh, the game object tab. It allows you to create objects in here. I do not recommend using these because we're going to make our own GUIs uh, scripting. One's better than this. Uh, you can add cameras and stuff. Uh, some hotkey commands for this. W or if you hold on the right mouse you can turn you can that rotates you on the pivot like where your editor camera is if I hold uh, the left mouse it makes a selection thing and I can select different objects if I go ahead and left click on an object and hit F uh, then holding alt and uh, left mouse allows me to rotate around the selected object uh, by holding right click again and hitting W, S, A, and D allows you to kind of fly around. Um, scroll wheel also works for zooming in and out. Mind you, F is focus. It focuses you whenever object you have selected. And I guess that's actually about it for this. Um, and yeah, it's a basic idea of how to use that. So you guys can mess around and make your own uh, scene in here if you want. There's no point really, but... Hey, you never know. You could be bored. And since there's no lights and or anything, let's actually go ahead and make a light real quick then. It's still gonna look like crap. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Um. So yeah, guys, that's a basic overview of what we're gonna be doing and uh, how this is gonna work next tutorial we'll actually start scripting um for now we're gonna stick the basic GUI scripting and uh, hopefully you guys know at least basic Java or scar or something otherwise though I'm signing off this is Adam from Moya I'll see you guys later